Hello Olympia Tech and welcome back. We're going to pick up right where we left off with building the Earth. Okay, so we made the Earth, the terrestrial Earth last time. Our blue marble and now we're going to add some clouds and atmosphere. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to duplicate this original sphere that we started with. Okay, and that's super easy to actually hang out. Let me make sure I got... Uh, Screencast keys turned on. Okay, now we do. Great. Okay, so with our Earth selected, we're going to Shift D. Okay, so if we move our mouse around, we can see that we have a duplicated Earth. And in addition to duplicating the sphere, Blender also duplicates the material and all of the nodes that we put on the material. Okay, so this is a carbon copy of the original earth. I'm going to escape out of that movement and I'm going to come up here and call this cloud layer. Okay. We really want to have an organized outliner up here. Now we want this to be a little bit bigger. We want our cloud layer to be a bit bigger. So we're going to scale this up with S as in scale S. And then you can either pull manually like this. Okay. That's just moving my mouse or I'm going to escape out of that and hit S to scale and I'm going to go 1.01 okay just 1.01 and if there's anybody out there that wants to do all of the layers of the atmosphere I think that would just be the coolest we're just going to go a little bit off the surface and we're just going to go with the troposphere okay so everything in all of our atmospheric levels all of the weather that happens happens in the troposphere that's anywhere from five to nine miles anywhere from eight to 14 kilometers there you go in any event if you uh, if you want to make this scientifically accurate i think that would be awesome um, as your own uh, personal challenge if you want to do all the layers of the atmosphere that would be that would also be really cool you can do the troposphere and the stratosphere and i think the mesosphere and then there's one more on top of that i think okay so if you want to do if you want to make it scientifically accurate go ahead at the scales that we're uh, run with we're going to need to keep it stylized so uh well that's why we're, we're going with these distances so with this layer selected i'm going to come over here to material with with our cloud layer selected you can see it just anchored the earth um all the earth nodes on top of it okay and we don't want that so we're going to come over here to material and we want to delete this okay don't be afraid of what just happened that's fine this is the layer look you can if you're if you think it all went away don't worry about it just hit the eyeball up here and you can see that our earth is underneath it this is just the sphere okay and we want to add you guessed it a new material and we want to call this material clouds okay and now we got this material up here and we want to do the same thing we did last time with our uh, principal bsdf selected and our node wrangler add-on enabled we want to hit Control t and look at that okay and these th these uh these three amigos pop up great like they like they always do we're going to select all of them and bring them over here Okay, here I'm gonna I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can see this nice and big. Okay, can everyone see this? Gravy. Okay. Now the image that we want to add, uh, we get from NASA. Right here. Go to NASA's uh, visible earth, they have the blue marble clouds and they have some uh, spectacular atmospheric data that was received uh, from a single remote sensing device from the moderate resolution imaging spectral radiometer or MODIS flying over 700 kilometers above the earth on board the Terra satellite MODIS provides an integrated tool for observing a variety of terrestrial oceanic and atmospheric features on uh, our terra firma which is awesome so thank you NASA uh, so download whichever one of these you want and then we're going to come over here and we're going to find it and we're going to open it, okay? Shabam. 
and there we go and there's our clouds just like that we finished it you guys great job wait a second but something happened okay what happened can you see it can you see what happened our earth is gone underneath it it's darkness okay we need this darkness to be transparent we just want to see the clouds okay so fortunately there's a node for that there's a transparency node if you ever need to see through something well just add a uh, add a node man just get your nodes going you node okay so I'm gonna move this over here I'm gonna extend this out a little bit and then up here I'm gonna shift a and search for a trans parent BSDF just like that and it adds it above and you can see that you know these BSDFs are in the same category because they're color coordinated okay keep on keep on the lookout for that that's just blender saying hey we see you now they both need to go into this uh, material output right so do you remember what we use can we get some adaptive recall happening in the mind of the user anyone anyone Bueller Bueller that's right we use a mix shader okay so we hit shaders mix shader and if you don't remember that it's in shader mix shader you can very easily just search for the mix shader okay so we're gonna add a mix shader and then we just drop it right in and it connects it okay you with me I hope so and then we're gonna take this BSDF and put it here because the image has to be connected to it too okay so let's take our image here in color and drag and connect it to this factor okay and see what happens and now we did everything that we needed to do right but it's still we still don't see it okay we got our image we got non-color p we got it plugged in to the factor we got our uh, transparent and our principal going into the mix shader and going to the output like this should work but we don't see it the answer is because EV has some default settings that make this impossible to see okay and it's kind of weird like you're doing everything right but it just doesn't give it to you and this is you know I I feel like this is it can just throw beginners for a loop because you're doing everything right but you're just not seeing it. it's like what the what the H man so look if you come up here and you go into cycles it's like yo there's our clouds how cool is that look at that there's a cloud and there's real shadows cast on the land it's like how cool is that but when we switch back into EV it's not there it's like come on blender you're better you're better than this so if you go to materials down here and in settings you're gonna see the blend mode and the shadow mode are both in opaque. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this right here, we want to change. So if we go to alpha blend, let's see what that looks like. Hey, hey, hey. look at that. How you? How are you living? Blender, large, outstanding. Anyway, if you had this and were confused by it because it wasn't showing up, it's because the default settings of Blender in EV have certain types of layers material layers as opaque meaning you can't see through it even with a transparent node and that's just what that's just a weird thing man but it's, it's something that you just you have to figure out and you got to remember okay so we go to materials settings right here blend mode and we want the alpha blend okay we want that good alpha blend if we turn it to opaque it goes away okay so we go back to alpha blend and now we can see it and now we got some cloud jamming okay there we go we got a little troposphere happening nice and pretty I see you clouds just living your life up there plotting okay what do we do everybody save your work everybody saves your work with control S let's build the atmosphere you guys um, before we do anything we want to apply the scale uh, to our cloud layer and we do that with Control A. So I hit Control A, and you can see it says apply location rotation, but scale. Okay, we added, we scaled it earlier, we made it a little bit bigger, and so now we want to apply that. 
we're going to do the same thing we did before. Okay? We're going to Shift D to duplicate it. Enter to lock that into place. We're going to come over here and name this new sphere Atmosphere. And now we know what we're running with. And uh, we want to make this, I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to scale this. And you know what? I think I'm going to do 1.06 and really just have it be bigger because, you know, the atmosphere is just freaking massive, you guys. The, uh, like the thermosphere and the mesosphere. I mean, this thing goes hundreds of miles up. Um, and, uh, if we want to be precise, which, I mean, yeah, we definitely do. Here, first, let's uh, come into materials and delete the cloud material off the atmosphere layer, okay? Let's save our work just because. And with our atmosphere selected, let's get new. And we want to call this material, you guessed it, atmosphere. Okay? And uh, what's cool with this one is you know how to do every every part of what we're doing and we don't need to add in any images we're just going to add like a we're going to add a soft blue outline to this okay we want uh, we want to make it transparent so we're going to shift a and then come up to search transparent and then we we want them both going into the material output so what do we need you know anyone anyone get some adaptive recall happening did you say mix shader? If you did, you were right. Man, I hope you said mix shader. Okay. And then uh, we also want to add what's called a layer weight node. Okay. And a layer weight, um, all a layer weight does, well, it, it's probably the most obvious name for a node. So if the weight is one, it's going to be solid. And um, let's say here, so uh, go into base color here and pick a, pick a blue. If you want it to be dark blue, that's fine. I'm going to make it pale blue as a hat tip and an homage to um, Earth's astronomy professor, uh, the late, great Carl Sagan. And we can have that, right? Just a good pale blue. Maybe, maybe a little softer than that. Yeah, that's a fun one right there. Okay, so here's our base color. And then when we plug, we want to plug the facing output into the factor input of the mix shader. Are you with me? I hope so. Okay. And nothing happens. Like, wait a minute. What do we mean nothing happens? Okay. That's kind of crazy. And it's because Blender reads nodes top to bottom. So if you know you have something plugged in the right way, like all of the nodes are connected to the right nodes, but you're still not getting it, check the order of the node. So right now we have our principle is overpowering our transparent. And we want our transparent to be read first. So let's take this and bring it up and Blender automatically switches them. And then remember what we did last time? So here, just to show you before we're in EV, if we go into cycles, it's like, yo, how pretty is that right there? You kidding me? That's freaking gorgeous, man. You just made an atmosphere on earth. <laughs> High five, bro. Um, so let's go back to EV. And then in materials, we want to take this blend mode, remember, and we want to go to alpha blend. And in shadow mode, we want to go alpha hashed. Okay. This is a little strong uh, for my tastes. So I'm going to bring the strength down on this blend. And what's kind of cool is you can see, like anywhere you look at it, anywhere we move over, the center of this is, you know, kind of clearish, and we can see through it. And then towards the edge of the uh, of the marble of the of the blue dot of the thermosphere, is where it uh, we really kind of can see the atmosphere. But it's a little too strong for me, uh, for my tastes. You might like it as is, and if that's the case, run with it, take it, make it your own. That's fine. You can bring the strength of this layer weight down. How about 0.15? Okay. 0.15. There we go. We got Earth. A little louder. Maybe 0.1. Might be 0.1. Might be. Might be the jammer. Okay. So on that note, 
So everybody save your work, and I'll see you in the next one.